things that you've seen that have gotten you fired up and excited about where this industry is headed. Mick, would you mind us kicking off for it, kicking things off for us? <laughs> Absolutely. So I think a big inspiration for me is probably, I'd say it's probably the movie Ready Player One. It's definitely just, it's, it's, it's a classic, it's an absolute classic, but I think what's interesting about it is just how accurate the predictions are. Um, in terms of just everything from a behavioral perspective. Look, look, there are some things that I'd rather not come to fruition in terms of people living in, in the metaverse and letting the real world just go to, to like to absolute rubbish. But I think besides from that, like you know, ignoring that side of it, um, when you actually focus on, on what's possible within this sort of metaverse top realm, I think that's just so inspirational. It's just so amazing to see like all the possibilities and I think that's just that's just human nature. It's just just the choice of human nature just to explore and to create and to bond and to socialize. And I mean to do it on to do it in, in an environment where there's literally no limitation where you can I mean gravity's not a thing. You can switch physics. It's just it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be and that's just it's just I have to watch that movie at least once a week just to keep me fired up and, and keep me moving just because look we are moving really quickly. But I think everyone would probably argue not quick enough. So it's it's a fantastic that's a fantastic source of inspiration. Great movie, and I I agree. It's every like working in the industry. It's, I can't believe we're here already. But simultaneously, it's we're supposed to have flying cars by now. What's exactly. up? There's always that kind of weird line between we're here right now already. I didn't expect this. And you know, so Adam would love to, to know what, what gets you fired up, what, what good stories and anecdotes you've experienced. Yeah, I think one thing that like me personally that I'm looking forward to seeing more of, and I know they're definitely out there. I haven't gotten a chance to go to one yet, but I love the idea of the location-based experiences that are catered to AR and VR type experiences. The big limitation, and I'm hoping that Akash can solve this, is that at home you're limited and like your space, like the at home VR experiences there, it feels there's not answers yet for some of these things, hopefully soon, but location-based experiences, like those feel like a kind of like semi step towards a solution for that. Like you go to this experience and you play, you have that open space or you have that dedicated, like, you know, barrier that you have to climb over and you're actually literally climbing over it. And it's in the real world, it's a box and in the, um, the virtual world that's who knows, but I feel like that is definitely something that I'm so excited to see where that can go. And then if, if you're telling me that there's a way to do that in at home, Sign me up. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. And I agree with you on that one. Um, I, I, gosh, it's been a minute since I've gone to a theme park for obvious reasons, but even then before, <laughs> you know, the pandemic, but like the 40 rides that they had, like, that's how long ago I've been to a theme park. Like that was like the, <laughs> the boys make a new cool thing. So yeah, no, totally agree with you, Adam. Excited to see where LBE fits into the equation and really it's been kind of a, a great starting ground for a lot of the stuff that we're seeing today. Akash, what, I saw you nodding a lot there. I was like, oh man, you, know, you gotta get some Bengay or something for your deck. Talk about it. What inspires you? <laughs> I, I love this question because I can honestly paint a wonderful picture of what the future would look like for We Are Fitness, how accessories play into it, because that's really what we're doing in Unlock Reality. This is the first product that, because this is the biggest problem we need to solve right now, but we have a lineup coming up, but forget what we're trying to do at Unlock Reality. Of course, look for us later this year, but <laughs> <laughs> the future for VR, what it keeps me inspired is because everything that we, all the like large physical problems that we deal with today can be solved with VR and VR accessories. So the physical, limitations of the physical realities that we're in all can be really solved with VR. That's really what, I mean, inspires me. But uh, if we're talking specifically about what the future of accessories and how that would really uh, fit into it is things like when we, as we move forward into really every VR user building out their VR accessory lineup. So everybody really having access to a full set of VR accessories that allow them to really step into VR and step into 
what we hopefully will call the metaverse in the future. That's what really everything's leading up to, to be able to bring fitness to that next level, allowing people to really physically feel more so than the Tesla suit that you're saying, actually physically feel that those weights or be able to really feel the presence of being in a physical or virtual environment feeling, well, I said physical because it, the whole idea is to almost make a virtual environment feel that like it's a physical place. I know for a fact, at least if no one else beats me to it, that's what Unlocked Reality is going to be doing is bringing that full immersion to people, giving that accessibility to people so that things like fitness, things just like travel and experiences can get, not to tote my own horn, unlocked for you. <laughs> I just had to throw it in there. It was just too good. But yeah, that's really what we're headed towards is everybody having their own set of accessories to full experience, fully immersive VR so that LBE experiences can be at, at, at home experiences even at some point.